You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is, you can eventually turn it, uh, you can eventually become a master of it. The only way to become a master is something to be really with it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. Welcome to a productive day in my life because that's very foreign to me because I'm a lazy and I procrastinate a lot. If she can't clap without her hands, then I don't want that. What? Hope you guys enjoy the shoulder workout. I have it all in the link in the description down below. Anyways, let's start the day. Boom, boom, boom. I watch a lot of productive day in the life of a college student and they have a to-do list but for me personally I have everything in my mind the day before what I need to do first so anyways guys if that helps you, you know, seeing it visually uh, what you need to do like highlighting the most important tasks of the day things you have to get done regardless uh, if that works for you by all means but for me I just have it all in my head so yeah first things first in the morning you gotta wake up go to the gym no better way to start the morning with the crazy pump right anyways next thing on my list I have to do is get a haircut cuz this, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, man. So I'll see you guys at bye. All right, so I was supposed to go home, make myself a post-workout meal, but I'm way too lazy to make eggs and oats right now. So I went to Shoppers Drug Mart and I grabbed me a muscle milk. My mom dumped all my protein powder because she thinks I'm gonna get cancer by drinking that. Like, whatever. You know, you know how Asian parents are. It is what it is. And I'm not gonna lie, I keep it real on the channel. I'm eating some ruffles too because uh, I really wanted some chips. I don't condone this, but you know, every once in a while, you gotta live some life, man. You gotta live life a little bit. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys at Baba Han's. Look what who it is. YouTube. What up, YouTube? This is Baba Han. Getting the haircut. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. You wanna tell people a little about yourself? You haven't really explained where you went to school or you know why you dropped out of Ryerson to pursue barber or whatever whatever it is okay okay I started I started barbering for fun just in grade 10 yes cutting my cousins my friends uh, I just followed the route went to uni did it for the did it for the rents and I finally I dropped out after second year and I was like yo I don't want to I don't see myself doing an office job I'm just gonna do, pursue. Do, do what I, pursue what I love you know turn your dreams into reality yes sir yes sir yes sir all done with the haircut feeling like a new man you gotta look good feel good perform good because next thing i have to do is study for my midterm that is tomorrow all right it's gonna be a productive fast day no procrastination you no know, good student behavior type vibes today so anyways i'm gonna go home i'm sure you guys how i study personally i'll see you guys then like five six hours or so it's time for me to tell you guys how i study personally i've been doing this for the last two years you need to make good notes and take good notes in class so you do pay a hefty fee in university like seven thousand eight thousand dollars in canadian uh for your undergrad per year and uh it's expensive so make sure you make you're using your parents money wisely don't waste it try to get education so guilty of wandering off scrolling through social media blah 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 when the subject is really stale and dry and boring things you don't really care about but you gotta do what you gotta do so yeah 
I've been trying to sit in front of class more often. Seem like a bad student. The prof is always looking at you. You're really close to them. If you, it, it, it's really disrespectful to take your phone and like scroll through social media when in front of the class when your prof can see you. That's really inconsiderate, disrespectful. That will try to limit disengagement in the class per se. So yeah, try to sit in front of the class, take good notes, and listen. Okay. step process of how I study. So first things first, I will type out all the lecture notes in a Word document and I'll print it out like this, okay? After that, the notes I've taken in class, I will write it down on this Word document with all the lecture notes. So things that the teacher would say that's not on the slides, I will write it down here, right? It's pen marks, highlights. So everything that the prof said that wasn't on the lecture slide specifically, I will have to write it out on this Word document. The way I like to study is by through repetition. So typing it out once is one form of repetition and then writing down the notes that you've taken in class on the piece of paper is another form of repetition because you're constantly reading the lecture notes and you're writing down your own notes at the same time. Okay? Boo! All right, so second step. I don't know if this applies to all like subjects or undergrads, but in my undergrad in kinesiology, I have a lot of textbooks and you need to do a lot of readings to help consolidate the information that the lecturer is trying to convey to you, okay? So for, for me personally, I like, to, I like to read the textbook. That's another form of repetition right there. And then I will have to write notes out of the textbook. But a lot of people like to write word for word of what the textbook says, but for me personally, to help really establish what I'm trying to learn, I have to reword it in my own words, okay? For me to really understand what the textbook is trying to say to me, okay? So that's the second way I like to study. And the third way I like to study, I'm gonna change a little, I'm gonna change a little scenery right now, okay? We're, we're gonna go to the kitchen. I'll be right All back. Right, so the third method I like to study is by using flashcards right here. So you write down the write down the function description of what you're trying to learn at the back and you try to test yourself over and over again. So constant repetition. So I read that through actively retrieving the information from your brain really establishes new connections. So it helps you retain the information a bit better. It helps you uh, just learn the information more efficiently, per se. I was reading an article, and I'll put it on the screen right here if you guys happen to care and want to read it. It says that highlighting, you know, the most popular way of studying or like reading or writing is not as effective as actively recalling the information from your brain. I don't know if that's the case, but for me personally, it helps me a bit better, but at the end of the day, you should the way you should study is basically what feels more comfortable for you is more, it's all subjective at the end of the day because I still do, I still write my notes out, I still highlight, I still do all that, but plus now I'm doing active recall, so the more repetitions you do, honestly, the better you are at retaining information. That ever applies to anything in life. The more you do something, the better you are of doing it. So if you're better at basketball, you gotta practice more. The more repetitions you do, the better you'll get at whatever you're trying to do. So that's that applies to everything in life, so yeah. And that's how I like to study. Personally, I've never been like a 90 student. I've been like a 75, 80 throughout my whole life, and that's the way it is. I'm never, I don't have a Jim Neutron brain, okay? I'm not that smart, even though I'm Asian. Not all Asians are smart. Forget about that stereotype, all right? So now, I'm just gonna chill the rest of the night. I'm gonna start editing the video. I have to post on Friday, because every Friday I gotta post a video, God damn it, Be accountable, all right? Be accountable. Guys, for dinner is sponsored by my mother. All right, she made me some spaghetti with some shrimp, with some broccoli and some beef, baby. I would eat this up. We're watching the Raptors game. You know what I'm saying? Although we lost Kawhi Leonard, hopefully we make it out the second round or the first round of the playoffs, and that's about it. That's all my expectations are for the Toronto Raptors this year. But maybe Pascal Siakam could flourish into an All-Star superstar this year. Who the hell knows, man? All right, guys, I'm just gonna end off the video here. It's around 11 p.m. right now, and I'm gonna chill the rest of the night. 
play some Fortnite with the boys again. This is my boy right here, Zachary. He's doing some little dance. Looks kind of stupid, but yeah, this is my man cave. You guys didn't know. I'm not sure if it's really not the best thing ever, but uh, I get the job done. I have the Xbox here. Get some NBA playing in the background. But yeah, my midterm tomorrow is at 2 p.m. So I'm gonna wake up early, review everything once again. But yeah, this is a productive day of my life as a University of Toronto student. I didn't have work today. So I just try to, you know, make use of my time, be efficient. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. And call out. Boom, 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 boom.